My name is Carla Campos. I've been doing WordCamp since 2013. I've been speaking, volunteering, attending, and today we are talking about ways to get involved in open source. So, usually you probably think of open source as, hey, the only way to get involved in open source is to contribute to code, correct? But that is not the case. So, I am going to tell you a story of how I kind of began and how my life kind of was thrown into a new amazing place because of open source. So back in 2009, I was working a regular nine to five job, but I felt like I could do so much more. And you know, I was in college and I was like, I was in college late only because I had to drop out for a little while since I had children. So don't think that I was in college in 2009 and that I'm young like that, no. <laughs> I'm actually 37, so I was in college late because I had a family to raise. So in 2009, you know, I was graduating college, I read about Craig Newmark, the founder of Craigslist, and I'm like, wow, I want to be just like that guy, right? I want to be Craig Newmark. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> so we're on. Cool. So here we are. All right, so that's me. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't think it was going to work. So, I had no idea how to build a website. I had no idea what to do. I just wanted to be like Craig. I didn't know what code was. So I went online and I was like, how does somebody make a website? And I came across something called Joomla. And you know, usually that's like murder to talk about another open source project at a WordPress conference. But that's how my story goes, so I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> so I came across Joomla and you know, I'm like, okay. I just kept reading and reading and I taught myself how to use that program. I come to Miami, Florida, and nobody here really is using Joomla. What is everybody using? WordPress. And the community here is amazing. So, you know, I just transferred to WordPress. So now I do both, kind of, so that's another story. <laughs> Only because clients are all over the place, right? So that's my journey with open source. Like, if it wasn't for open source, I wouldn't be here today talking to you guys. And I ended up actually working for Telemundo, doing marketing director, using open source projects. So, you know, that's <laughs> the journey through open source. So I'm Carla Campos, a famous entrepreneur, founder of the Entrepreneur Moms Club, which is on WordPress. And I am not here to tell you that I'm famous, just that's the description people say about me. Right, just because you work with a TV station, everybody assumes that you're famous, right? <laughs> And I work with people like Luis Guzman, who is actually really, really famous with millions of followers and, you know, like people like that. So it's, well, I'm thankful that people would describe me in that way. So it's not that I think I'm that way, but all right, cool. Well, I'll take it, you know? <laughs> and it's all thanks to open source. So may the force be with you. So we are here because of something that is open source, right? Everybody's here because of WordPress, correct? All right, so there's so many businesses that are powered by WordPress. WordPress helps so many people. So if you're somebody who likes to help people, why not get involved, right? That's one of the reasons to get involved. <laughs> so the benefits of joining an open source project, helping others. So if you have that kind of heart that is about helping others, then it's a perfect place to get involved. Creating amazing things. Who here is a developer? <laughs> Have you guys developed something for open source? Yes, yes. I want to hear you because I don't think anyone can hear you. Yes? What have you developed? So, you know, sometimes people think that open source is all free. Are you charging for that? or? So it's not all about free. You can make a business, right, on open source. It's just an amazing platform that allows so many people to make money. It's not just, hey, it's, it is freeware, which helps you, right, if you don't have money to start a startup. So open source. <laughs> popularity. OK, sometimes popularity is not the best thing in the world. But if you own a business, popularity can help you, right? Why? Because people hear about you. People know about you. So popularity can definitely help your business 100%. Community. 
I came to Miami not knowing anyone. All of a sudden, the WordPress community just takes me in, and here I am. So, you know, a lot of things happen through community, right? I think we met <laughs> like at one of the 2013, so it's like I come home to WordPress, I come here, and I'm just like, wow, it's family. You know, it's a good feeling in your, in your soul if that's what you're into. Business, like she said before, her plugins, she makes money, right? So somebody said, I'm going to create this code that you can actually just use, reuse, recreate, build on, and it helps people with their business. And fun. I go to so many startup competitions where people just show up because they want to build something for fun. They're bored. They're, you know, I learned to code. I learned to do this. I learned to do that. What do I do with it? And that's something I wanted to really touch base with here today because there's so many schools out there that you guys maybe don't know about, girls who code, people in the community who are helping young people, young new developers, and they don't know that the main thing that they say is like, what do we do now? Wonderful, we play with code, we did this, but there's no like somebody to say, hey, build on this. Why not build with open source projects? Why not help the open source projects and make them better? You have the skills. So, when you go home today, if you want to be involved in open source, if you're not already, you know, go home and tell your community about it. That is just being involved right there. Tell somebody about it. Tweet about it. Tell somebody today, you know, if you meet somebody, hey, this open source project is amazing in my life. Tell somebody about it. So here are just some reasons. I mean, some um, other ways you can get involved in open source that are not coding, because not everybody's a coder. You can say that I'm a front-end developer, because I can definitely build on, on WordPress. I know HTML and CCS, but I'm not a back-end developer yet. I'm working on that. So there's ways to get involved. I'm here speaking to you guys. You can be a speaker. Did you know you can create your own meetups as well? In Tampa, I have been part of the Joomla meetup help people who, you know, maybe you're like, hey, I don't know that much about WordPress, but there's people who want to hear about business. What is your talent? What do you know that you can teach somebody? And you'll be surprised how open these communities are for you to share your experience. You know how to blog, you know how to write. You know the whole entire website experience is not just about coding. It's about connecting with people, getting out there, teaching, sharing your expertise. So, you know, whatever you have and you're like, okay, this doesn't go here. Yes, it does, because open source, website development, everything involved is about the people. So, you know, you're a perfect chef, you're a cook, you do amazing videos. Share that with the community and you'll be surprised. <laughs> Are we? Oh, we have two minutes. <laughs> Sorry, we started late. So, write documentation, build a community, become a translator. I speak Spanish. I used to work for Telemundo, hello, right? So, what do I do? Any project? that needs translation, me, right? <laughs> and I know everybody has different schedules, so do it at your own pace, but just know that this is available out there. Um, help with bug triangling, suggest a feature, help with design, donate. So, you know, this is a community. You're here because of WordPress. You're here because of open source. So please, definitely, if all you can do is talk about it, then do that. So thank you, this is a lightning talk. Oh, and by the way, if you tweet any picture or anything here today, I'm giving away a Chili's gift card for $15. So if you want to just come and take a picture with me later with the speaker cards, that's up. So <laughs> thank you so much and have a wonderful WordCamp. We did start a little bit late, but our next speaker is not till 2.30, so if anybody has a quick question for Carla, uh, you can raise your hand now. Anybody? Okay, if you think, here, we have someone right here. Even if it 
I think volunteering is an amazing opportunity. When I actually started here in 2013, I started as a volunteer, and now I'm up as a speaker. So volunteering, registration, helping, it actually brings you in and to meet new people. And the volunteers are actually people who are maybe looking to create something. And they're not like untalented people. Everybody kind of sees volunteers as, oh, maybe they have nothing to do, they're volunteering. No, actually, I've met so many volunteers here and in different projects that are like better developers than I am. And I'm like, what are you doing volunteering? They're like, hey, I wanted to get involved in something. You know, like I can code, I can, I can do this, I could do that, but I just don't have the community. I don't have the, the people power. And it's just amazing how you can get into the door just volunteering or, you know, hey, or actually just talking to organizers or just, it's a lot of like, you know, talking to people. So when you go, what do you do anyway, by the way? Sure. Okay, thanks. So I have a map um, for locating small businesses and small producers who produce low sugar, low carb desserts for people with prediabetes and uh, who are worried about sugar. And so it's a lot of work to go and find these places and screen them. And um, there's only so much I can do in other countries Googling businesses that are you know, in Chinese or other languages that I don't speak. But I know that there are health people in those countries that probably track those businesses and can make recommendations. And I would love to have their recommendations, but I cannot figure out how I would actually get to them and let them know there's an opportunity for them to contribute, probably highlight themselves in the, in the process. So it's a big puzzle. So it's kind of outside the WordCamp um, or, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I think just saying what you need and finding the people. So you said it out loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it because there's, you know, but so just talking to everybody here and it might not be a hit and that's marketing for you, right? Talk to the people, see who you can find that actually is on board with you. It's just, you know, like just this, what do you do? Does it go with what she does? I was actually going to ask <laughs> Okay. Okay. So making. So exactly making the connections as you go along, right? And maybe after the event is over, send this, you know, like a little message to the organizers that they can send out to everyone else. Say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Do you know anyone who wants to connect? They do that for the job boards. So if it's put it on like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Who wants to connect with me? And usually that actually does create a lot of assistance and people who actually want to work with you. Any other? Whoever's playing, this is for the bingo, right? Yes. So whoever's playing bingo. And you can ask her questions uh, in the happiness bar as well. Thank you.